session of Beyond with Etsyam with me, Masuma Zishan. Beyond is a platform for connecting students aspiring to study abroad with industry veterans who've traversed that path before and specialized university reps who can guide them best. Etsyam is a global education consultancy with our head office in Canada and our presence now in North Africa, Middle East, and in Pakistan. It is a part of Catalyst Venture. Our leadership are pioneers in the field of event management, business, as well as media. Armed with ISAF certified consultants, we are here to change the narrative of education consultancy in Pakistan. Our USP lies in customer centricity and building and maintaining lifelong partnerships. In today's session of Beyond, we're gonna talk about the College of Canyons and introduce that wonderful university to you. It is located in the beautiful Santa Clarita Valley in Southern California, USA. It is a two plus two transfer campus. And what it means is that after completing two years of the degree program at, at the College of Canyons, you can transfer to any university across the United States. Yes, you heard it right. You can transfer any way anywhere at all and the College of Canyon specializes in this and the transfer is guaranteed. In today's session, I'd like to welcome Tim Honadil and who is the Director of International Student Program and along with him, uh, we have a very special guest, Isabella, who is an alum of the College of Canyon. Both of them will talk about all the different facets, accommodation, financials, how to apply, how to get in, as well as campus life. I do wanna add that Tim is an advocate and an ambassador who facilitates students reach their academic goals and their career dreams. Welcome to Beyond with Etsyam, Tim and Isabella. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, you know, I'll begin right away. My first question is about the university location. If you can tell our viewers about the campus. Yeah, we're, uh, we're located in uh, Southern California. I'm gonna uh, show you some, I, um, I need to enable my screen sharing. Um, I'm gonna show you some pictures when my uh, screen sharing is enabled, uh, but the, we're in Southern California. It's a dry climate. Um, and we're in this little city called Santa Cruz of about 300,000 people. And there's uh, um, no tall buildings. It's, uh, it's a school town. It's not really a college town, but it's a school town. And there's still, you know, 300,000 people is plenty of people, a very safe place. It's a great place to go as a first landing spot for a student who comes from another country because it's very, very safe. Uh, the people are very friendly. They know that there's international students here. They like to help them. And so it's a good spot to start. And then from there, uh, like um, Musum said, we can tra travel to anywhere else in the United States to finish a degree. And we'll go over some more of the two plus two in a few minutes. Thank you so much, uh, Tim. And, and you know, following that, I'm sure the students want to know about the course duration for undergrad and grad. So the program. Yeah. We will definitely talk about that. Here's a couple of pictures. This is just a picture of the valley from a hiking spot I took the other day. It's a classroom. This is all pretty typical stuff. We do a lot of mountain biking and uh, uh, road biking and kayaking trips with the students. Um, There's another view across the valley. You can see it. And this is a view of the river, which runs down the middle. Uh, here's a sky view of the campus. Uh, it's a beautiful campus, very green, very pretty. Uh, this is our graduation ceremony. So this is really interesting because they are not graduating the same way as you think of a graduate. These students are all in the two plus two program. So they've done the freshman and the sophomore year. And now they're gonna go on to another school and they're all going to different schools and they're gonna do their junior and their senior year and then they're gonna finish. Now, lots of students ask, well, why would I do the two plus two? Why don't I just go straight and do four years at that one school? Fantastic. If you get in, you can go. But if you want to save money or if you can't get in, because frankly, it's very hard to get into like UCLA, it's less than 14% acceptance rate. Well, then you can come to College of the Canyons first, prove yourself for the first two years, 
And then UCLA is at 80% acceptance rate. So it's a big difference. So all these students are all students which are doing that two plus two. Uh, here's a science classroom. Some of this is familiar, just pictures of the campus with some students. We do have lots of sports, including American football, which is very popular. Uh, beautiful mall nearby to go shopping. Uh, we've got the Six Flags Magic Mountain. Uh, lots of roller coasters. I mean, this is a thrill park. It's, uh, it's not exactly like Disneyland. Disneyland has a lot of other themes to it. This is just pure thrills. Uh, another view across the valley of Santa Clarita there in our university center. Uh, we have, we're near Hollywood. And so uh, the theater arts are a big important part of our schooling. And this is a picture of our, uh, of our theater. Some more campus pictures here and there. You know, it's, it's a pretty campus. Another sky view of the campus. And, uh, and basically what you see is that it's a regular college campus. It's a beautiful place. And it's a great place to do that two plus two if that's what you need to do to in order to get to the school that you really want to go to. So I think, you know, looking at the pictures, I'm sold already. And I'm not really sure that if I were a student, uh, you know, and I'm a dinosaur. So, so what if I were a student and had that life over again? I'm not sure I would want to transfer out. But you, you know, answered a couple of questions. You've shown us uh, campus life. You've shown us uh, activities and attractions near campus. So thank you for that, Jim. Uh, and then, you know, uh, I'll repeat my question about the programs. Students are keen to know about the undergrad and grad programs and what are the top yeah. ones you recommend? Yeah, that's a really important question. We get asked that question a lot. And so we have every major available, every major, Swahili, aeronautics, uh, cooking, physics, every major. There's every major. And that's because the two plus two program, your first two years, you do your general education and then your major preparation class. So if you're going to sciences, then you do your math and physics and things like that. If you're going into the humanities, you do those classes. The degree you're going to get is issued by the school you transfer to. So if you transfer to California State University, there's 23 campuses and they all have specialties. Or you can transfer to the UC system like Berkeley or Riverside or UCLA. They all have specialties. That's where your major is going to come in. So let's say you want to study business. Very popular major. Lots of people like business administration, business management, those kind of things. Well, College of the Canyons, you study your general education course and you do your transfer protocols for business. Then you transfer to the business school. So to which business school you go to depends on what you want to study. So that's how it works. That's why we have every major is because you only have to do the first two years with us. Then you transfer. And of course, if you're going to continue with a master's degree, you'd want to go to a California State University. And if you want to continue with the doctoral degree, then you'll go to a University of California. And that's kind of how the system works. And that's why we have every major. So they have every major. And then my question, the next one would be, that is the gap year acceptable then? You know, does it work for College of Canyons? So the gap year, there's two kinds of gap years. The gap year I think you're talking about is between completion of high school, secondary education and beginning college. And we have no gap year rules. You can go as long as you want. So one year, six months, five years, it doesn't matter because we're gonna evaluate you based on whether we think you're going to succeed as a university student, not based on how long has it been since you've been outside of high school. I'm actually a good example of that one. I came back to College of the Canyons after six years of not being in high school. So it's, uh, they accepted me and it was a great experience because I didn't have to worry about if I was gonna get accepted just because I haven't been in high school. Thank you, Isabella. So, you know, she's uh, reassured us that it, it, she joined after six years. So if you're going to take a gap and want to, you know, re-energize yourself after a year or two, there's no limit, no barrier at all. The next question is regarding the fee structure and the affordability. So if you could just touch up on that and scholarships. Yes, good. So the fee for tuition 
at College of the Canyons is about $10,000 US per year. So typically a student spends two years at College of the Canyons. So they'll pay that fee for the two years and you pay as you go. So it's very, very low cost. So the scholarship's not important. You don't need a scholarship from College of the Canyons. When you transfer to UCLA, the price changes to $45,000 per year. So you went from $10,000 a year to $45,000 a year. That's where you need your scholarship. So what we do at College of the Canyons is we prepare you to be able to present yourself as the best qualified scholarship candidate for the senior year at UCLA. Because if we can do that, that's the important thing because that scholarship is gonna be where the expense is the highest that senior year. Now, if you transfer to California State University, it's about $20,000 per year. So about double College of the Canyons. If you transfer to USC, it's about 75 or $80,000 a year, very expensive. So always remember the scholarship that you need is the scholarship you get for that senior year at university. And that's our job is to prepare you for that. Wonderful, Tim. Uh, so, you know, you guys go that extra mile and prepare and equip students to win those scholarships, which is important. Uh, my next question is about the IELTS requirement, because, you know, a lot of students ask whether it is a, you know, if it's a must or can we get a waiver? If you can comment about that. So, yes, you can get a waiver. The purpose of an English exam for College of the Canyons is to understand where we should place you in the levels of English. So if your English is good, and if you're from an uh, English speaking country where your uh, primary language in secondary education was in English, well, then your English is gonna be fine. And so we'll place you based on that. We accept IELTS and every student does take an English placement exam of some kind. They can take Duolingo, they can take IELTS, TOEFL, whatever they want, doesn't matter, any test. But that's only for the purpose of knowing where do we put you to start? Now, where are the choices? Well, almost everybody say from Pakistan is just gonna come in straight as a regular student. I mean, their English is as good as our English. So they're gonna move straight into that. And that's fine, just take English 101. We also have uh, an ESL 100 class and an ESL 90 class. Those two classes are for students who want that extra help in English to get themselves up to that college level. And then we do have an English language school. That English language school allows you a maximum of one year to get up to that college level. So we do have three different levels for students to go to. Um, if, like I said, if English is the language of instruction in high school, and then you can, we can just waive the exam. You can get the I-20 without it. And then you will take a uh, exam uh, just, to, just for records purposes only, like a Duolingo or something similar. That's no problem. And that helps with the visa process. So uh, English is not a barrier. If your English is not great, uh, then it's no problem. If your English is good, we don't use the test to decide what you want. So we're gonna talk to you as a student. We're gonna say, okay, how good is your English? How confident are you? You wanna just start with English 101? Great, you're in, no problem. Right, thank you, Tim. And you know, students frequently ask about the opportunity to stay back, right? The opportunities post the degree and the immigration policy, which would, I, you know, I reckon would be the same for all over the US, but if you can elaborate. Yeah, so that's really good. So a uh, good question. The way that the university system works in the United States is you have this work period available to you when you complete your bachelor's degree. During that work period, which is one to three years, depending on your major, during that work period, that's when companies get to know you. When companies get to know you, there's your opportunity to sign on with the company and work for them longer. So you're, the key thing that you want to accomplish is you want to accomplish that degree here in the United States so that you can get on with a company here in the United States. And then that's how you do your process for whatever you want to do. The way that the system is designed, it's designed that you get your degree, you get your work experience, and then you go home. 
But if you want to stay, there are processes for staying, and those are done through the company that hires you. So that's your best case scenario for how it works in USA. Right. Thank you. And you know, just being curious, Tim, what is the ratio of international students at the College of Canyons? So the College of Canyons has about 2.5% international students. And do you have students from Pakistan as well? We always have a student from Pakistan, usually one, maybe two. Uh, this coming semester we'll have in the, in the fall. Right now we have one Pakistan student who signed up. Right. And, you know, uh, uh, whenever we have these uh, sessions about universities, and now I'm so excited to do one with, with you for the College of Canyons, we always encourage students that it's great, you know, if familiarity is great to, to find someone from your country or your kin or your language, but the university experience is mostly about absorbing and assimilating and learning from other cultures, their food, their language. So, uh, so you know, as a starting point, there is one Pakistani who's applied but you wanna you know, make friends with other nationalities. Tim, I also wanna ask about uh, you know, the living arrangement and uh, accommodation expense on campus as well as nearby. Yeah, so uh, Isabella lives in Santa Clarita, so I'll let her follow up um, on this. The way that the system works in community colleges is your first semester you stay with a college family. College family prepares your meals for you. You have your own bedroom, your own bathroom, a uh, great place to study. And it's in a very safe environment. You're in a home, like, a, like a, a single family house, American style. Maybe there's a swimming pool in the backyard. Maybe there's a barbecue, whatever it is. And we match you up with a family so that all your special needs, if you have any, are taken care of like dietary restrictions, or if you have special requirements like we had a student who wanted a piano because he played the piano a lot. So we always match you up with a college family that has that. Then after that, you meet lots of people that first semester. So then you can stay if you want, but most students, they move into an apartment across from the college with a couple of friends, and then they live the college life there. Now, what do you do when you transfer? Because you're only going to be with me for two years, then you're going to transfer to another school. When you transfer, almost always you transfer into the dorms at the school. It's really hard to get into the dorms as a freshman. There's a huge demand. Lots of students don't get dorms. But as a junior, that third year, you always get the dorm. So you get to move into the upper division dorms. Um, and now you're in with students all your own age in a dormitory right there on campus. So that's how housing works. Now, Isabella, you want to talk a little bit about your experience at, in Santa Clarita? Yeah, so uh, Santa Clarita, first of all, I mean, we've seen pictures. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I know when I moved up there, I was really shocked at how much uh, time I was able to spend outside. There's hiking trails everywhere. Um, it's a planned neighborhood. So I mean, just walking to the bus stop, you can walk by a lake, everything is gorgeous. There's bike paths all over the place. Um, I find it's super easy to get around. And something I really love about it is that you're in this really safe and suburban environment. So you have that like nice community that you can do your work in. And then on the weekends, you're like 20 minutes from LA, from the center of the city. So you can go and do anything, you know, concerts, you can drive to the beach in under an hour, you can drive to Disneyland in under an hour. It's kind of like the best central place to get your work done and also to kind of explore the city, especially as an international student. Right, thank you so much, Isabella. I was just about to uh, ask her the same and jinx. So, you know, Tim, you went <laughs> ahead and asked her for the experience. Thank you for sharing that. And being conscious of time, uh, Tim, I'm gonna take actual student questions uh, who tuned in and are, and are watching this uh, session of Beyond with Etsyum. Mohammed Kamar Iqbal asks, is there any data science related course offered at your university? Yes, and keep in mind, we have every major. So the answer for every question about, do you have that major is gonna be yes. Right, okay, so I hope that answers your question and all the other students who are watching. It's a yes, yes and a yes. So, you know, don't think too much, apply now. 
So, you know, um, there are questions. Uh, you all already shared the, uh, you know, the interesting places around uh, campus and you've shown us beautiful pictures and about the weather as well. There's a question about application process. Is there a bank statement required for admission or at the time of visa? There is. Uh, the visa people are going to ask for that bank statement and they ask that we look at it first. So you'll send your bank statement to us. The bank statement needs to be about $25,000 of liquid available cash. So money that you can spend. And uh, you'll send that to us and uh, we approve it. And then you'll use that same document when you go for your visa interview. Right. And again, um, so, you know, I think that brings us to almost the end of today's session, but I do want to ask you and Isabella both that if you had to, you know, highlight three reasons that all the students should choose College of Canyons, what would it be? Just to recap. That's awesome. I'll do three and then Isabella will do three. So my three, looking at it from an academic standpoint, is that it's the perfect launching spot for a young student to come to and be able to get a degree in anything. It's a very, very safe place which parents should be very happy with because it's very safe. And the third thing I'm gonna say is that our instructors really care and wanna meet international students. They wanna know where did you come from? What is your life like there? Do you have any pictures of your family? Do you have pictures of your town? They wanna travel through you. So you're gonna get a lot of attention from the professors. Isabella, how about you, three things? Uh, three things as a student. First off, definitely the location. Um, I would not want to have gone to school anywhere else. Um, and second, as a student, we have a high transfer rate to elite schools, UCLA, UC Berkeley. I mean, I guaranteed a transfer into UCLA. That's, that's fantastic to be able to say that. So I think that's a huge selling point. Um, and while I'm not in athletics, I do think our athletics program is phenomenal. Um, if anyone follows football, Matt Moore, um, is one of the top 50 of the best quarterbacks in America right now. And he went to College of the Canyons. So I, our sports program is fantastic. And I think if you are in athletics, it's a huge selling point for the school. Right. Would you want to add something, Tim? Otherwise, I'm going to wrap up the session. Well, it's a great place to go to school, a great place to start. Um, easy to apply. There's no fees. So that's it. I think we're good. There are so many reasons that Tim and Isabella have uh, elaborated. So there are more than three reasons, right? We actually, there's an exhaustive list. And that brings us to the end of our session. And I want to really thank uh, Tim and Isabella both. We're honored and delighted to have you on our session at Beyond. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And I want to uh, also thank all the participants and the students who tuned into this session. If you have any queries or if you'd like to apply to the College of Canyons, please call 0300-111-8020 and talk to one of our expert career counselors and we'll help you out and help you achieve your career aspiration. Thank you so much. See you at the next Beyond with NCM Wednesday 12.